And now to old Spanish Days Fiesta. The big celebration kicks off less than two weeks from now, but we are already seeing support all around Santa Barbara. Lots of decorations and that sort of thing. News Channel's John Palmateri is live. And John, you're seeing it all over town. Yeah, right after the 4th of July, you couldn't miss it. So many businesses started to take on the look that Santa Barbara's biggest event of the year was coming our way, which it is, of course, in two weeks. And they started decorating to put on that special old Spanish days festive look. Without waiting for the week of old Spanish days and all the crowd gathering events around Santa Barbara, many businesses are already showing their fiesta spirit even when they're not right on the parade route or near the entertainment venues. It is all around our city, east side, west side. Guy Rivera is with Direct Mortgage Lending. He's a Fiesta announcer on the parade route, and he's also among those to put up his 22-year-old Fiesta bunting outside of his State Street building. And it, and it warms my heart. It's really cool. I'll sit in my office and see people just snapping pictures, and it, it's, it's, it's a great community feeling right now. Viva la Fiesta! Without even knowing about Fiesta, many visitors know something special is about to happen. The colorful banners and promotions are showing up in advance and in many locations, along with special signs and displays created by the owners and their staffs. We don't have enough to celebrate in life, you know, sometimes, so why not celebrate ahead of time and have that anticipation? In recent years, with the parade covering the entire length of Cabrillo Boulevard, one of the iconic locations to have that spirit of fiesta for a business is on the corner of State and Cabrillo. And we understand even more decorations will be going up in the next few days. It's something that is special for Santa Barbara. It's unique to Santa Barbara. So being on this iconic corner, we really want to do it. And knowing it's coming on Cabrillo, we really want to get ready for it. It is also an economic booster here and throughout many areas of downtown and the funk zone. Last year blew my mind. I couldn't believe how many people fit on this little corner and how, how happy everybody was. So we at Janine's are anticipating a huge fiesta. I'm picking up a couple. The Home Improvement Center is one of the one-stop shopping sites for this year's Old Spanish Days Fiesta poster and this year's pin shaped like a horseshoe. Overhead, there's a display of bunting of different sizes for sale, the type you see hanging from balconies and doorway entrances around the city, adding to the spirit of Fiesta at every turn. There's also a walking journey through time with decades of Fiesta posters displayed across the edge of the shopping area, including many you may have never seen before and many of your favorites. And it's all about the community, bringing the community together. And if we can do that sooner than later, that's why. That Fiesta will have 500 horses and about 50 parade entries. And while technically it will not go the length of Cabrillo Boulevard, it won't go past Milpa Street, it will be going along the waterfront in front of a number of businesses. One more thing, a lot of neighborhoods started getting involved in their Fiesta decorations as well during COVID, and that too has continued around the city. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right. Thank you, John. Very exciting. Well, the Santa Barbara County